the universe forms complexity out of the most simple geometrical shape, the sphere. All we need is spherical geometry to arise naturally in the universe, and we have this in Huygens' principle of 1670 that says, every point on a wavefront has the potential for a new spherical wave. If we have light waves radiating out from a center point, it will form a sphere. The interior of the sphere will naturally create three-dimensional space. The two-dimensional surface of the sphere forms a manifold or boundary condition that forms a continuum of time with an uncertain probabilistic future. The spherical symmetry creates the particle characteristics of light with photons continuously transforming potential energy into kinetic energy of what is actually happening as the future unfolds. Each point on the surface of the sphere has the potential to form a new spherical wavefront with our three-dimensional world continuously changing with the movement of charge. The inner concave surface creates negative charge and the outer surface creates positive charge. We have an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere as long as the sphere is expanding. In this theory, each line symmetry represents a potential timeline for future possibilities and probabilities. The greatest probability is that this process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking will form entropy or disorganization. But because the geometry forms infinite timelines, there will always be a small chance that the symmetry will form the emergence of greater complexity. We see this symmetry in the beauty of the Fibonacci spiral, in the diversity of cell life, and in the potential for ever more abstract mathematics. In this theory, conscious awareness is the most advanced part of a universal process and is an integral part of the dynamic structure of the universe. Most mainstream science will tell you that consciousness is a byproduct of the physical brain and that chemical activity in the brain forms conscious awareness. But chemical reactions are based on physical interactions. Whenever the bonds between the atoms form and break, there is an exchange of photon energy. So all branches of chemistry stem from physics. In physics, the photon represents the particle aspect of light and is a carrier for electromagnetic fields. The wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons could form an emergent physical structure for conscious awareness to arise. We can have electromagnetic waves with new photons coming into existence when the waves interact with electrons of atoms, forming a probabilistic, uncertain future. Light photon energy is continuously transforming potential energy into the kinetic energy of matter in the form of electrons. Electromagnetic activity would be fundamental to how the brain produces consciousness, in a similar way to how electromagnetic waves are fundamental to how a radio produces music. The fact that light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent could give us a physical reason why conscious awareness is always in the center of its own reference frame. In the moment of now, being able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. This is a basic description of the wave function collapse to explain an intuitive explanation of what is actually happening. In quantum mechanics, we use the wave function to measure probabilistic predictions. An important aspect of what we call a measurement in quantum mechanics doesn't actually have to be done by a measurement device. 
In quantum mechanics, a measurement can happen just by the interaction between lots of particles, like say photons interacting with grains of dust. Therefore, the wave function is everywhere, collapsing and reforming continuously. The way to have an intuitive, logical explanation of what is happening is to think of the collapse of the wave function as a new moment in time that has the geometry of space-time. When we make a measurement, there is a somewhat random and unpredictable collapse into one of the possible measurement states, and this depends on what the wave function looked like just before we made the measurement. It collapses into one state rather than continuously flowing from one state to another, and then at that new moment in time, just after the measurement, once again the wave function starts flowing, forming probability based on the new measurement state. This is totally logical if we think of the mathematics of quantum mechanics as representing the physics of time. The electromagnetic fields are not quantized, it is just the energy transfer processes between field and matter, between photons and electrons, that are quantized. We have electromagnetic waves flowing out, forming the carrier for potential quantized photon energy. The energy contained in a wave spreads out, forming probability within the characteristics of three-dimensional space. This energy is converted back to another form of energy in a very local and quantized event by light photon energy continuously transforming potential energy into the kinetic energy of matter in the form of electrons. Kinetic energy is the energy of what is actually happening. This geometrical process formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light photon energy is continuously forming a probabilistic, uncertain future. In physics, there are two long-range forces, the electromagnetic force and the gravitational force. They both share the same geometry in the form of the inverse square law. These videos explain how both forces are based on the same geometrical process of energy exchange, with gravity being a secondary process to the electromagnetic force. This can be seen in the simple fact that gravitational potential energy goes down when two masses come together. For example, as a falling object gets closer to the ground, its gravitational potential energy decreases. Therefore, if we have a group of mass in the universe, the gravitational potential energy just goes down and down. But energy cannot be created or destroyed. Therefore, there must be a process that is changing gravitational potential energy into another form of energy. This can be explained by light photon energy continuously transforming potential energy into the kinetic energy of matter in the form of electrons. Kinetic energy is the energy of what is actually happening. As objects free fall towards the ground, its gravitational potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy with the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy, continuously forming a probabilistic, uncertain future. In this theory, the universe is a continuum, with new vibrations continuously coming into existence, photon by photon. The future is unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table and the frequency of the light. The atoms bond together and interact, vibrating in unison to the frequency of the light. This can be seen if we increase the frequency or temperature. The vibrations increase, breaking the bonds that hold the atoms together 
and we have fire, or plasma. We have a universal interactive process formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light with an interaction between photons and the electron probability cloud of the atoms. This spontaneous process forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time. Each photon oscillation or vibration only occurs once, but the process of energy exchange as a whole is forming the probability and uncertainty of life. Within such a theory, the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer, forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. Many great scientists have found a similarity between local physical laws and the very large scale of the universe. One way to explain this is by a universal geometrical process based on conformal geometry, where angles remain the same, but there is no notion of scale. At the small scale, we can have spherical light waves radiating out with the surface of the wave forming the potential for the exchange of photon energy with the movement of charge. At higher temperatures in the form of plasma, charge can cover a whole star or even a large area of interstellar space. But the same geometry is at play. This can be seen in the form of cellular space at the large scale of the universe. We have the formation of galaxies on the surface of the cellular structure. In this theory, we have the same geometrical process at the large scale in the form of plasma that we have at the small scale and low temperature relative to the atoms. We can see this with the organization of charge relative to the membrane of each living cell. In this theory, the universe is a light sphere of probability with no singularity, just spherical geometry forming the characteristics of three-dimensional space with only one variable in the form of time. Please share and sub, it will help the promotion of this theory.